Today in this 2015 Ford Transit 250, we'll be having a look at and showing you how to install the Curt Class 4 trailer hitch receiver, part number C14012. Here's where our hitch looks like installed. First thing you'll notice about the hitch is that it's really well hidden underneath the vehicle. The receiver sits back far enough that as we're loading cargo in and out of the back of our van, we don't have to worry about running our shin into it. On the side of our receiver here, you'll find our 5 8 of an inch diameter hitch pin hole. You can use a pin and clip to secure your hitch mounted accessories. On the end of the receiver, you find this nice collar that's welded on to help give us a nice finished look. And it also improves the strength of the receiver opening. Welded onto the bottom of the receiver is our safety chain plate. Now what's nice about this plate is that even though it has a somewhat small opening for our safety chains, even if we have a large diameter hook such as this one, we can still clip on very easily and remove it easily as well. Now this hitch features an 800 pound max tongue weight rating, which is the amount forcing down, and an 8,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating, which is the amount it can pull. It does support the use of weight distribution, and when you're using that with your trailer, your tongue weight rating increases to 1,000 pounds, and your max gross trailer weight rating increases to 10,000 pounds. You'll want to make sure you consult with the owner's manual of your Transit 250 and not exceed what the vehicle is rated for. Go by whichever number is less. One thing that I really like about this hitch is that it does have a nice high gloss black powder coat finish, so it does look nice underneath our vehicle. And also, with this being a class 4 hitch, it has a great towing capacity, which makes it perfect for those of you that own construction companies and need to tow a trailer, in addition to having your cargo in the back of the van. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessory you may need, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or a cargo carrier. You're looking at about 15 inches from the ground to the top of the two inch receiver opening, and about seven inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the rearmost part of the back bumper. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. To begin our install, we've already went ahead and removed our spare tire to give us a little bit more room to work. If we have a look up on our driver's side frame rail, we'll have two bolts that go in horizontally. They're 15 millimeter. Our passenger side is the exact same way, so keep in mind everything we do on the driver's side, we'll repeat on the passenger side. We'll remove these bolts. Now on the end of our frame rail, which attaches our bumper beam to the vehicle, we have a small hole. We'll enlarge this to the size indicated in the instructions. You can use a drill bit or you can use a step bit. Now we'll take one of our pull wires and go through the hole that we just enlarged and it'll come out the top of our frame. We'll place on one of our spacer blocks. We'll drop that inside the frame. And we'll thread on one of our carriage bolts. And we'll place that inside the frame. And we'll pull the bolt through the hole. It is helpful to have a screwdriver to help align everything as you pull it down. Let me remove our pull wire. We'll take another one of our pull wires and go through the front hole in our frame rail. And that'll just come out the very front of it. And we'll do the same process of our block and our bolt. Now with an extra set of hands, we'll raise our hitch into position and we'll secure it in place with our flange nuts. Can we use a jack to help get our hitch fully up against our frame and we'll thread on our nut into our back bolt. By having the jack in place to help support some of the weight, it did help the bolt go through the hitch. Now you can see where our hitch on the side lines up where the factory bolts were that were removed. We'll reinstall the factory bolts into the original holes. And now we'll tighten our hardware, beginning with the bolts that we installed in the frame using a three quarter inch socket. 
And now we'll tighten down our factory bolts. Now we'll torque our hardware to mount specified instructions. Now at this point, we can reinstall our spare tire. For video purposes today, we're leaving ours off, but rest assured a full-size spare will fit back into its original location without any interference from the hitch. And that completes our look at and showing you how to install the Kurt Class 4 trailer hitch receiver, part number C14012 on this 2015 Ford Transit 250.